Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back everyone to another First Impressions, the series, with yours truly, Free Wada, with the exclamation point for the added emphasis. Now we have got a game I have no clue about. I just saw this, it was the next down on the list. Uh, we did have a couple games, uh, there was one, there was a couple games that we did get, uh, tried to get recorded, but the recording was ultimately kind of like buggy, weird, all that kind of stuff, so I didn't end up putting them up. Uh, one of those being Art School, uh, we, probably the creepiest but coolest, but also creepiest game I have ever played about going to being a froshman at Art School. Something it was a very odd spelling, but uh, it, I mean it, 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 uh, yeah. <laughs> and then there was another one. I think it was called a Short Hike, and I thought that game was absolutely amazing. I got lost, and I was never happier to be lost in a game. Just being able to explore everything and feeling like I still could accomplish even being lost. But we're going to go ahead and jump into this game, Walden. Have not, I have no clue what the heck anything is. Uh, we Let's take a quick look at the credits, see if we can get anything, maybe. I'm worried that it's going to be a super scary game. Oh, Walden is a game. There's the voice of Henry David Thoreau. Game director, designers. Here's some of the extra credits. Uh, at least we'll keep the top. We'll just jump into this though to save a uh, because this is a first. This is about first impressions. If you know, if you want to look up the game Walden, I'd say go up ahead and look it up. Let's get in there though. I, I went. Oh. I wanted to live deep and suck out all the marrow of life. Ew. To live so sturdily in Spartan life as to reduce it to its lowest terms. And, if it proved to be mean, to get the whole and genuine meanness of it. Or if it were sublime, to know it by experience and to give a true account. Okay, so here's where the credits popped up before, but it looks like we're in it now. To begin living Thoreau's experiment, seek out the glittering arrowheads throughout the woods. The first one is on the rock between you and the cabin. Oh. Uh, oh. Move close, center, and click on objects like arrowheads to interact with them. Is that an arrowhead? alone in the woods, a mile from any neighbor, in a house which I had built myself on the shore of Walden Pond in Concord, Massachusetts, and earned my living by the labor of my hands only. So we got a right mouse and inspect something closely. Your home, your home arrowhead. Okay. So our home, it began to occupy in my house on the 4th of July as soon as it was boarded and roofed is still under construction workbench drive a nail home and clinch it so faithfully that you can wake up in the night and think of your work with satisfaction click on this workbench to build or repair your shelter huh oh we can look at some trees that's awesome i'll start interacting closely with animals by pressing and holding the right mouse but will add your to your inspiration although they may bolt if you get too close Hey, little buddy. Let's get back to this arrowhead over here. When I first took up my abode in the woods, my house was not finished. It was a pleasant hillside where I worked, covered with pine woods, through which I looked out on the pond, in a small open field in the woods where pines and hickories were springing. Huh. So it looks like a wood pile. Nice. Your fuel supplies are about half full. Could chop firewood here if we had an axe. A letter on our doorstep. It does feel a little awkward with some of this left clicking and right clicking, like. Dearest Henry, 
Congratulations on the start of your okay, so we can reread that wherever. We got lots of letters to look at. Mr. Emerson said he July eighteen forty five. Oh. That's kind of cool. Look at all these letters. Got lots. Okay, so this is a very informational game. Oh, so here's like a little journal that we got to you, the cabin, fishing spot, campfire, boat, chopping stump, ruin shelter, reading rock, solitude cairn, task, and job. So this is literally like this is literally like kind of like a crafting game, I guess, or something. There is some of the same fitness in a man's building his own house that there is in a bird's building its own nest. Who knows, but if men constructed their dwellings with their own hands and provided food for themselves and families simply and honestly enough, the poetic faculty would be universally developed, as birds universally sing when they are so engaged. Huh. Oh. So that brings up my past. So let's check it out again. So, you got this. What are you doing now? Emerson asked. Do you keep a journal? So I make my first entry today. Making our first entry. So we're facing that way. We need to head down to the pond, it looks like, and we can go to our reading rock. Huh. Click and drag, make the motion shown by the arrow. Oop. Oh, uh, looks like we're stitching. Let's keep working. Your clothes are somewhat mended, but you can still work on them. Clothing icon will glow green when you're completely mended. Let's keep mending. So it's almost like a little forest, simulator, cabin, experience. It is an experience. I was so worried this was going to be a horror game, so I am glad we are just mending our clothes. There we go. Let's see about this. So our coat is doing good. What about this shirt? Is it the same, I guess? Yeah. Okay. Well, we got our coat fully repaired. Now let's go out to the lake. Let's explore. Press to remember and hold the right mouse button over things like bushes to get useful information. Pick some berries. Food that you find, grow, or buy will fill your food stores. It'll glow green when we're completely filled up. So let's just pick some berries, I guess. This plant is ripe. Let's pick some berries all around. Okay, so our food stores are good. Check your food stores. Here's our reading rock area. Huh. When reading books, use the Q and E keys to turn the page. So we're looking at the Iliad. That's cool. Let's read on through. I have read the Iliad in my own time. Uh, so I'm gonna just skip through it a little bit. Looks like that's it. Reading the books, you find a little to add to your inspiration. Take your time with these worldly texts. Huh. This is a cute little game. I like it. You could fish if you had your fishing rod. But I'm also going to pick up some fuel. Ooh, what is that? Fishing spot. You could fish here if you had a spare rod. Where you've left it is marked with an X on the map in your journal. Press J to open our journal. So if we continue down this path, I think, yeah, press and hold your right down mouse button over fire to see your energy level. Fire raises, will rise as you rest near them. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at that. Some rocks, some trees, surely come here again. Oh. You're fully rested. Nice. Fully rested. We're getting our log storage up. We're doing good. 
Let's see if we can grab anything else here on the ground. Like these sticks, maybe? There's some more logs, at least. I do love uh, just collection games like this, where you can just go around collecting at your own free will. Looks like we got some extra sticks around here that we can use. Collect as much fuel as we can. So let's keep going. Let's keep looking at some of these... Uh, some of these different trees as we head down. We're cl getting close to our fishing rod. Huh. We could do a little sprinting action here. Does not look like we get to jump. And it looks like it's coming to nighttime. Let's go ahead and make sure we can grab our fishing rod, though. There's something out there. What is that? Cross pond if you find a boat. Red squirrel. Aww. That's a cute little squirrel over there. Here we go. Here's the fishing rod. We can watch the sunrise or the sunset here. Wow. Let's do a little bit of fishing. Whoop. So we'll sit here. We'll wait for a fish to nibble, maybe. Nice! We got a little baby! Let's do one more fishing time. Let's do, let's just catch, I know our, our food is full, but let's go ahead and do this. I see you, fishy. Bloop! Nada. We got a little, weird, got a little worm or something. Let's go ahead and head back. It's getting dark. Press L to take out your lantern. Let's go ahead and head back to our home. Maybe we'll get some sleep there. I really do feel like I'm about to get the poop scared out of me now. But I guess this kind of, But they have such a calming, like, atmosphere around it, even though it's dark. It's always scary when it's dark. Let's just head back down here. Hopefully we don't have need too much oil in our lantern or anything. What was that? Arrowhead? Oh, we got another arrowhead, I see. The grand necessity then, for our bodies is to keep warm. To keep the vital heat in us. Okay. Well, there's lots of them out here. My residence was more favorable, not only to thought, but to serious reading. Oh. I was beyond the range of the ordinary circulating library. I had more than ever come within the influence of those books which circulate around the world. Okay. There's another one. On the side of a hill, immediately on the edge of the larger wood. I do love this story rich environment that it's holding right now. It is pretty cool. To which a narrow footpath led down the hill. Let's see if we can carpenter some stuff. Let's build our house up. Your shelter is progressing nicely. You have to yeah, we have completed two walls. Ah, this does feel very relaxing. You're out of energy. You need to rest near a fire to restore your energy. Or you can take a walk in the woods to regain energy. Come back later and finish the task. Okay. Let's, uh, maybe we can take a rest at our bed. But I still need a roof. Let's, uh... Okay, it is evening now. So it'll be time to rest and reflect on our day. Boop. Our coat's doing fine. There's all our letters that we have. Is that another arrowhead? The necessaries of life for man in this climate may, accurately enough, be distributed under the several heads of food, Oh. 
I think we still keep working on the house. Before we go to sleep. Maybe a little exhausted, but... I think it's time. We'll work ourselves to the bare bone. Henry. Henry, are you, all right? you fainted from overexertion, but a friend helped you recover. Your energy and inspiration are now low, but you can rest near fire to restore your energy. Or we can go to sleep. Oh. If you guys would like to read all of this, feel free to go ahead. I would put the time into it normally if we were doing a full playthrough. But, uh... Where are you? Wake where you are. Press escape to pause the game from the pause menu. You can save and exit the game. Another letter by your front door. You may get more mail as the days pass. July 1845. Dear Henry, oh, okay. Now it's time to reflect on your day in the woods. Each evening when the, you hear the clock chime, review the notes that you made in your journal during the day. Looks like we have no task yet. Press and hold the right mouse button to check your food stores here. You automatically consume about one jar of food per day. Respiration has become low, but it can be gained by reading, attending to the sounds of life in the distance, enjoying solitude, and interacting with visitors. Let's go back to reading, maybe. Got reading rock here. Let's scroll back through here. Okay. We're starting to regain a little bit of our composure, at least. Um, so we could... Okay, so we, ha we can head up to the Emersons now. Up here. Oh, the graphics are feeling kind of funky right now. Got lots of firewood. We're doing okay on that. Let's just take a nice gentle stroll through the woods, make some observations perhaps. Some pine. Some pitch pine saplings. Looks like we see a fencing line over here, so I think we keep going to the right. There's a bean field right here. Ooh, beans. Let's just listen to the sounds and the sights. Click the brush. Click on brush to clear an area for planting. Click on the cleared area to plant some beans. Weeds will appear each new day as the beans grow. You'll need to weed your bean plants regularly until they are harvested. Okay, well we'll wait on the beans for now. This is your bean field. Clear the brush. Okay, yeah, we got that. So this is a, I think this is a very nice game for people who just like a really relaxing, just kind of like living, like a living life simulator, you know, like something that just allows you to take in all the, uh, Jada, open here. the first page is a map of the woods. I know. So we're going up here to the Emersons to our task. Food about half full, fuel near maximum capacity, clothing is excellent shape, shelters under construction, fully rested but very uninspired. To do or not to do, and that's borrow an axe. So I think we gotta feel inspired again, is what we gotta do. Do we just sit here and look at stuff for a little bit? What's this? Cellar hole by the very corner of my bean field. A colored woman once had her little house where she spun linen all burned up together. Oh. Let's just take a walk through here. We're going to go to our friends. We're going to get a little bit of inspiration back, perhaps. Make sure we know where we're going. I think we take this path up here to keep going. It looks like there's their house. Ah, yes. 
my neighbors. Very relaxing, very gentle here. I'm come to borrow an axe from them. The ground. Shall I not have intelligence with the earth? Am I not partly leaves and vegetables mold myself? Some piper grass? Oh. Some just pine, patch pine seedlings. Huh. The Emersons. Hello, Emersons. This road will lead away from the woods to the town of Concord. I intend to build me a house which will surpass any of the main street in Concord and grandeur and luxury as soon as it pleases me as much as it will cost me no more than my present one. Your mentor and friend. With orange glints discover the memories they reveal. Oh. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this. Arrowhead. It's very good to make your acquaintance, Mr. Thoreau. Your sister seems to believe our thoughts and philosophies are very much alive. Oh, ball in a cup. Let's take some of these letters. We'll let you read that as as you want. Now I have an axe. Oh yeah, we'll clean up some toys. So we'll be able to replenish our fuel stores at least as well. I have the highest confidence oh hey Emerson. Oh, Henry. How goes your new experiment? Has genius struck yet at my wood log? I would say so, yeah. Fact, the experiment is going quite well. Excellent to hear. Hear them if you linger at the, the edge of the woods. I hope you will keep a good journal full of your insight. Can you spare the time? Not right now. Sorry, buddy. We're gonna we got stuff to do. Goodbye for now. Let's go help him clean up his blocks. Let's, we can look at his personal library maybe. Looks like we may be getting some inspiration back. Let's chop a piece of wood down. There we go. We did it. <gasps> Tim Tim! Come here, Tim Tim. Uh, we went to Concord. Welcome to Concord. Here you can find the general store post office in your family's home, the yellow building just ahead. Okay, so we got to Concord, and here's another arrowhead. Here come John and Henry mother, back from their adventures. Oh. How was it? Did the boat sail well? It's your parents' house. Oh, thanks for the laundry, Mom. You're running out of food stores. The food jar icon. Find, grow, or buy more food to fill up our food stores. That's okay. July 1830. Dear Monsieur Thoreau, my sister, who you know, has sent me a copy of the Yeoman's Gazette. Oh. For a new content character. And suggested I contact you regarding the education of my son, Ed. <gasps> Pie. Full food stores now. Thanks to our mom. Never discredit your mom for making awesome food. Let's keep walking around here. Let's see. There's so much to explore in this game. There's just so much to sit and listen to as well. So here's the general store. So if you want to play this, if you end up wanting to play this game, which I, I mean, this this looks like it'd take a long time for me, but it feels like this could be a very awesome game. A lot a lot of depth goes into it. So increasing your food stores. Looks like all that's food, fuel, clothing. Ooh. Permanent durability to your clothing. Households. Very small increase to shelter state. I think we need to make sure pay our bills, give assistance to your family, give assistance support to the state. Um, give a large increase to shelter state. Fish, fishing rod, and then we'll close it. So we don't want to buy anything from that guy just yet. 
Uh, there could be some jobs and whatnot going on around here. Let's check out what's going on in here. It's the post office. Ah, Henry Thoreau. Gotta look at Thoreau. I hear you finally got your little cabin built out there by the pond. Now, why would a man want to spend all his time alone? Give me a good warm house and a hot dinner is what I say. Looks like we're getting our inspiration back up. Um, Flitchburg Railroad. You can follow the railroad north into town or south into the far regions of the pond. Okay, so this could be the other area that we come in from. Looks like there is a destroyed house, a destroyed shelter over here. Does that mean we could create another shelter? Perhaps? I guess there must be areas. You can collect boards or ruin shelters like this. One to build or repair your own shelter. Looks like our shelter is fine. If you don't work on it from time to time, you can press the right mouse button over the shelter to see its state of repair. You can look at some more rocks and stuff. I think we need to just sit out and look out on the lake and really take this game into perspective. Or we can head over there. What is that? Ooh, is this a person out here? Okay, so, oh, it's a boat! We could finally get a boat across to go across the river. Maybe we can just sit in the pond as well. Oh. This is, it looks like this is the boat here, but it looks like we can't do anything with it just yet. Just yet. <gasps> There's a mound of rocks. This gives me inspiration. Arrowhead. Oh, there's the boat. Never mind. I never found the companion that was so companionable as solitude. A man thinking or working is always alone. Solitude cairn. Solitude is not measured by the miles of space that intervene between a man and his fellows. Oh, our inspiration. Take our time here. I think I'm seeing... Oh, there's a guy over there! Ice Fork Cove on the western shore of Walden Pond. You can take a boat here from uh, to other areas of the pond. Uh-oh. Wait. Nope, send me back. Uh-oh. Well, say goodbye to that guy. We're not talking to him anymore. Bloop. 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 Looks like we can fish here. I don't know how to switch to my fishing rod, though. Maybe if we just sit out here for a little bit. Ah, oh, yes. Just enjoy the landscape out here. People who designed this game did an excellent job on just making a, like, a very calming atmosphere around you. A lot of nature. I do see a couple glitches on the left side where those trees are popping in and out. That's perspective. It's all perspective. Isn't everything just perspective these days now? It's in this pond. You can drift here as long as you like. Click on the shoreline when you're ready to return. Let's go ahead and do it. Actually, let's just fish here. Let's just take the rest of this video to maybe just do a little fishing and just talk about if you play this game, you need to you just want to feel very gentle and relaxed. Getting some food. We already ate some food even after our mom's pie. And uh I can see a lot I can see a lot going with this game. This sounds very educational, especially as instead of just an experience, I feel like it is an educational game about Henry David Thoreau's life. So if you ever wanted to know more about the guy, I would highly recommend checking out. Ooh, we got another little fishy fish. But let's keep, let's just keep fishing. And click on the shoreline maybe. Let's go back to this ice fork cove maybe. Maybe we'll do a little quick paddling. See if that guy is still there perhaps. Maybe we can talk to him before we end this up. Because we're getting close to the end of our first impression time. 
we I think I've been thoroughly first impressed. And and we're a pretty fast rower, it seems like. I do love all the small little interactions you get with this. May not feel as hard to row a boat by just clicking my mouse and moving it to the corner a little bit. But it is a lot better than rowing a real boat because your arms get super duper tired. Let's see. Let's see if our guy is still out here. Oh, looks like to be. Hey friend, is it, do you mind if I come join you at your fire? It's Ice Fort Cove Camp. I had more visitors while I lived in the woods than at any other period in my life. I mean that I had some. I had withdrawn so far within the great ocean of solitude. Oh, you're back, Henry. Might you have time to help me with my research for my lecture now, sir? Yeah, we'll help him now. We'll just see what would happen if we did help him. Yes, I have seen the Iliad. I can get it for you. Alright, well, we are not getting him the Iliad because this is our book. It's our book, Emerson. But, we'll act like we got it for him. So, thank you guys so much for joining me on this First Impressions. Give, give a shout out to the creators of this. They have done an excellent job working on this. Creating just a very, like, immersive environment. Something that's just like... Like, I end up, I still, I still feel the heat of this fire. I still see the, just the warmth of the sunset, the birds flying around. All this is about inspiration and just beauty and the natural environment and just trying to get the most out of that. So I want to thank you guys. I want to thank the developer and I want to thank itch.io as well. I'll leave a link in the description below. And I will see you all in the next First Impression, the series. Bye.